Hello, my name is Ethan, and welcome back to another episode of Path of Exile, Siege of the Atlas 3.17. In this episode, I'm going to be going over the 3.17 development manifesto, where they talk about the changes before we see the patch notes. We already got it early, uh, like a few days before the live stream of the all the teasers, all the new stuff. Um, so I put together... Uh, PowerPoint of the most important changes I think in the 3.17 manifesto uh, so it's not just their like page I, I I simplified it so we'll start it off straight away with absolution uh, they actually buffed absolution uh, you can notice here at level 1 it's unchanged but then by level 20 it's buffed by 50% more base damage in a self cast and then it has 200% effectiveness of added damage at all gem levels uh, from 130% before. So this is probably the player damage and not the minion. But this is still really good while leveling so you don't have to rely on the minion to kill. And it, you can actually kill so then you can summon them more often because it's also based on killing when they're marked. This is a good change for Absolution. Sources of added damage. Oh no, we just started using this. Dude... Why is everything I touch die? I lower the strength of unconditional added damage support gems and raise the strength of local added damage and added damage to spells on weapons. So this is a nerf to what I did and everything and the buffs are not to me. Added chaos damage support. So now it only it, it loses 16 damage to 24 at level 20. And then added cold is 17 to 26 and added lightning was uh <laughs> two to a lot 40 uh this affects our league starter in the events i was using all three added supports early um added cold added lightning added chaos this is probably not worth using as much anymore sadly uh we could still try though uh it's it is nerf though now so that benefit of why i was doing it less good still good but less good uh, I think it, it still could be good. We'll have to see in POB officially, like at every single breakpoint of how it compares to the other gems again. But they changed them and nerfed them because I found them. Damn it. Hydrosphere. <gasps> Change Hydrosphere to have a one second cooldown before it can be hit again. We were that we were using this with spiders to with the melee splash to be able to have all the spiders hitting the Hydrosphere and basically getting like extra damage for free. Um, and so now it'll have a one second cooldown. That's a lot worse. Rip. Triggering marks. They made marks permanent, so they only require a single cast for boss encounters. If you guys like this video, you should really hit the like button. And let's get this video to 120 likes. Okay, back to the marks though. Uh, make marks permanent, so they only require a single cast for boss encounters. Yeah, so marks in every build guaranteed now. Easy Assassin's Mark or Poacher's Mark. Choose. Uh, you want crit or do you want to lower the enemy's physical damage reduction and maybe, you know, generate the frenzies or the powers depending on if you're getting some kills. But making marks permanent. Wow. that's I, I Dude, I wasn't using them. You see, dude? They had to make them permanent, so I use them. Dancing Dervish. Rampage stacks on melee hit instead of on kill, so easy stacks. And apparently they improve the AI, so we'll have to try these out just to see how good the new Cyclone um, swords are. But also being able to stack Rampage on hit is really cool instead of on kill. This is consistent. This is actually a build now. <laughs> nice. That'll be fun. Detonate dead. Not dead. Des Desecrate and Corpse Walk now have a static 15% chance to spawn a Spectre Corpse, rather than a 2 times relative weighting compared to all other possible Corpse type. Only have to have one high HP Spectre, possibly still good, may be more consistent in some areas, could be improved in some areas actually. Uh, I don't think Detonate Dead is dead. They may have improved it in some areas and some it might be worse, but overall it might be better and it's still a thing and I, they did, definitely didn't kill it. it like, um, yeah, if they killed it, I think that would have been a bad move. So I actually like that it's still a thing, but it might be too good still. We'll see. Seismic trap. Make modifiers to area of effect apply to the area seismic traps burst can target at a ratio 
and then uh, it said basically that it would be AoE increase, but damage nerf, and it's not that big of a damage nerf, and it's seismic trap, so it should be fine. Toxic, toxic Rain uh, now deals 7.9 chaos damage per second at level 1 unchanged, up to 238 from 285. They said it was too strong with the buffs to the bows. They have some bow buffs and other, like, bow shit so they they had to nerf toxic rain because it was a outlier this was standing out of too good it was really good march of the legion this was insane i uh i tried to simplify this post but to be honest i, I just I had to put it all here and i'm just gonna go through it one blessing max instead of as many as you yeah as many as you compress also it costs mana instead of reserving mana temporarily release blessing as a support gem every build can use it instead of just the boot improve the aura level granted by march of the legion so the item excels at using a blessing aura remove mortal conviction and the life passives from behind the blood magic keystone and make a mortal conviction style support gem that makes an aura free and prevents you reserving mana it will be mutually exclusive with blessing skills so you won't be able to use both simultaneously this support gem provides slightly less aura effect to the skill than the blessing support but has no cost or upkeep involved also um watch how this gets even crazier change blood magic to also grant 10 percent more life to compensate for the removal of the efficient life passes behind the keystone wait blood magic better blessing is a thing change supreme ego to not limit you to one aura and instead give more aura effect based on how much mana and aura reserves Yeah, so not limit you to one aura. You can actually run Supreme Ego as an... And then look, more aura effect based on how much mana and aura reserves. I used to have a high mana build. It was like 4k of my strength stacker with the Shaper's Touch. Are we going back to that? Sh Supreme Ego aura stacking, strength stacking... That's why this was so interesting. Like, they, they changed some real things. Blood magic? Supreme ego? Oh, God, what the fuck are we... Okay, maybe. Maybe. Shade form skill. Granted by the Shroud of the Lightless and Replica Eternity Shroud. Shade forms cooldown to pause while the skill is active. Uh, so, no, you can't... No, no more. Reduce the cooldown from 45 to 40. They, they don't want you to be immune to physical damage. Strength of blood... Uh, when you were leeching, you're immune. So strength of blood damage reduction no longer scales with modifiers to life recovery rate. So this was a, basically a bug. It wasn't supposed to scale with this. Yeah. Uh, I, I didn't do it this season because this was already done in a previous season. And then they um, it was a lot worse now. And apparently it was with a thing that wasn't even supposed to be scaling it. So now it's officially dead dead unless they make some more stuff, I believe. Uh, those are all the changes though. And uh, so... I see no minion changes other than really Hydrosphere and the uh, and the sources of added damage that really affects our main stuff. Then Absolution is self cast, I believe. So that's neat, but it like it doesn't hurt. It's it's nice. Uh, Hydrosphere a lot worse. The marks is really cool. Uh, Dancing Dervish will have to try it. Uh, yep, and then a bunch of solid stuff. And then this is actually really interesting. We'll have to look into Supreme Ego, Blood Magic, uh, and this Blessing potentially as an actual, like, for fun, play around with it. The new March of the Legion thing. Either way, this is the manifesto. It's pretty simple when you break it down this way. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, again, hit that like button. It really helps the video. It, it really helps the channel. If you guys are new to the channel and new to the videos, uh, hit that subscribe button so you guys are notified of the next one. Uh, also, I'm going to be streaming on the 27th at 2 p.m. EST for the live stream reveal thing of the new season because we only know about the, you know, like the Siege of the Atlas and we know about the name um arch nemesis league but we don't actually know like anything about the boss or anything about the new leagues or what we're going to be doing so let's find out all about that stuff and we've seen some items of the leaks on twitter of the new stuff some teasers but really those are just some some items that are just 
I- fragments of other items we already have, and so they're not actually a new item. They're they're just fragments of items we already have. It's, it's still cool. It's still a new fragment, but it's not. Anyways, point is where I'm going with that is I'm looking forward to that, and I'm looking for, and I hope you guys are too, and I hope to see you guys in that stream. And uh, I might also make some videos of recapping. Th- I will probably make some videos recapping the live reveal too, because there will be so much information, and I'll be going into it. And uh, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.